Hello everybody and welcome to another different tutorial. Uh, it's not really about repairing a lens or something. Even if you think, okay, uh, lens suction tool, yeah, whatever. Um, this is also a lens uh, suction tool, just a lens. But I have long time think about how if I could make this electric. I mean, as a push of a button, it could suck the lens. Uh, so it would be something like that. Now, what I was thinking, uh, having a kind of a vacuum pump or something. So I've taken a look around and uh, well, I couldn't really find anything. So, <clears throat> I mean, this is good. And you can also have those kind of, this is an older type. This is from Japan Hobby Tool. And this is from a company called the uh, North Sun. Uh, I think it's a great set, but I don't think you can get it today. I mean, you have the uh, Japan Hobby Tool and it comes with a tiny one, which you can take off here uh, and Put it on here. It's good for small lenses. I don't think it can lift this. Nah, not really. But if I would like to have uh, a more, I mean, better control of what I'm doing, I would like to have a electric one. So let's see how it can be done. I've already made a machine that was taken from this it's a um, it's actually a vacuum packing machine or vacuum sealer whatever uh, name it has in um, but it's of course is very useful for um, you could uh, put a bag uh, with food here and there is a heating element here, which I don't uh, want to use. And there are two holes here, there and there. Hmm. So, but inside this box, there is, yeah, oh, there was, I have already transformed it <laughs> um, to a electric vacuum suction tool. So, uh, and I take out the pump, which I will show you sooner. And um, the power supply, well, I don't need that. Uh, there is also some push button here, which I don't want to use. So, uh, most of it is actually gone to be converted into A, which I will show you now. A, this box. It's been my new <laughs> uh, design um, lens suction tool, which is quite handy and I think it's really good. Of course, uh, the box here standing on the floor, so I can just with my, my uh, one foot uh, press on the button and it will uh, start the suction, uh, I mean the vacuum pump. And the other one is to release the air. There's a valve inside here, electric. So, um, but how good is it actually? I mean, how strong is little, this little uh, vacuum? Okay, if we can compare to this one. This is a normal Japan Hobby tool and it works good for many, many things uh, when working with lenses. Just screw. I have already loosened it. It's just for showing. But if I take this one, can it lift the whole? Nah, not really. So it's not strong enough. I mean, it can, but it will not lift the whole uh, lens. It could also be a really big, heavy lens element. So, uh, and of course, the small one here would not at all do that. So we're um, not even this tiny.
tiny one that fits actually on the where did it go here there i mean with the uh, when you buy the japan hobby tool uh, oh hold on <laughs> there was just some line and pipes now this is a silicon uh, pipe uh, tube um, and the good thing is there is a longer one i mean the japan hobby tool came in two different lengths as i understand in my set well um and there is also this tiny tiny one for small lenses so if i want to uh, make it easier for me to uh, and also demonstrate when working with the uh, cleaning lenses and lens element i would um, simply just make it easier for me to show instead of having this pressing on and so it it of course don't misunderstand but this is also a really good tool i would just like to make it electric so how strong is the pump in here from the the um, vacuum sealer so if i put the uh, i can put the suction cup on here and start the pump by pressing it and as long as i press the button it will suck so i would just put it you can see there is no suction uh, effect here but if i press the button it will suck and it can easily lift the whole lens and when i uh, it will still uh, keep the air because it's tight but if i lose i mean release the the electric valve in here it will fall down okay yeah it sounds more than it is but uh, we can just show it in a different way okay this lens is from something uh, overhead projector or so on so but have it here suck it on and it's fine now if i release the uh, the valve the the electric valve of course the lens will fall off that's the way it uh, i would like it to work and of course it's also possible with a tiny one here also uh, i don't think it's strong enough to, <laughs> to uh, hold this uh, lens but let's see if it can uh, interesting okay <laughs> it can actually so it's quite strong <laughs> of course this is meant to be used with small lenses like this um, but as you can see it works really good but what's inside the box let's have a look I already unscrew some of the screws here so we can um, have a look inside I can just uh, unscrew it here is this is just a, a box made for electric stuff and uh, just like solenoid relays and so on and other electric stuff <clears throat> so it's quite simple in a way so this is what you see inside uh, it's not really anything there's no special thing in here at least the pump itself now the um, there is a DC clock which I can put the clock in here it runs on 12 volt so we can have a look here this is the vacuum pump and the electric valve um, the valve is coming from an old coffee machine which is uh, was yeah it was thrown out I mean a bigger one for for office and so <clears throat> I do not remember the brand but it doesn't really matter I mean as long as uh, it it um, is coming from 
and the older machine it could be useful maybe you can buy an electric valve uh, on the internet from I mean something this runs on 24 volt well <laughs> DC and the pump runs on 12 volt so how can that be with only one power supply well the thing is that the um, the pump itself runs on 12 volt and the valve is also run on 12 volt so um, we can just put it on here D C so the valve can actually run on uh, 12 volt uh, it doesn't really it doesn't really do much but I mean if you can hear It runs and as long as it can uh, it can just open and uh, when the when the air in here is uh, we can just do it here let's see when the air is in here I can just press the button here so you will not see much thing happen in here but as long as I uh, release the pump has sucked the air in and release it and we can just do it again it vibrates a lot um, but uh, it's why I put it into something foam uh, so it's doesn't make that much noise so or and then I can just release it again click now let's see how the pump actually looks in here it's just a tiny one and um, I just put in some foam so it can uh, uh, vibrate in a less uh, noisier <laughs> way so and there was also I also add some foam on the top on the I mean on the cover <laughs> the lid so it will press on here on the top of the pump so um, yeah it, it doesn't make that much noise so it's actually quite easy uh, as you can see so um, yeah I don't know <laughs> what else to explain about uh, the power supply we, maybe I should just uh, show it's just a normal one it's two 12 volt 12 volt and 2 amps and uh, yeah I actually make the the whole um, I mean except for the lent for the vacuum pump uh, everything is actually from my my uh, scrap out there uh, in my workshop and uh, that's it I mean the box yeah I, of course the box I have I need I needed to buy this uh, just for having it one good thing is this uh, suction tool also have a um, outlet here that can make the things as a blower a tiny blower which you could probably uh, be useful to blow uh, dust away or something but the lens uh, suction function which what the one I need is absolutely great uh, in this case so um, I hope you I mean maybe can get some inspiration about this uh, tool it's uh, <laughs> I haven't seen them on the internet so I don't know if you can buy one of those you may be a professional I mean for the factories and so but uh, I mean this one is actually a good tool if you can find the the things I I think you can buy the the things on the uh, on the internet 
those are normal Danish uh, contacts for light and yeah in houses so but uh, but as you can see it's actually a great tool we can just put it on and then it will suck in hopefully <laughs> what's happened here I think I pressed something on maybe a a um, one of the one of the pipes maybe has been uh, uh, okay it fall off here <laughs> uh, yeah it can happen so we can just put it on again but the valve the electric valve in here needs to be one of those where you use power I mean you use electricity to release it if not it uh, I mean yeah there are many other different way of making this tool but this it was also only to give you some inspiration how you make it maybe you could make a, a lens tool like this let lens uh, <laughs> suction tool like this one um, I mean if you go to a one of those uh, things where they sell things for kitchen uh, kitchen kitchen uh, tools machines so you probably can find one of those um, vacuum sealers but you can see it's actually very good and uh, yeah and if we just go into a I mean in real life take this lens apart um, then I would use the small one because the lenses are actually much smaller than this one is uh, more heavy so uh, if I just put it on here push the button and lift it up and can go deeper into this lens this is from an old TLR put the lens cup suction cup on and then can just take it out it's very easy so um, We have, uh, I think I have better control of what what I'm doing here. If I just uh, put it on the floor, um, I can uh, just press the button. Put it on there and then release it. And then we are all fine again. So uh, you can see, it's not that that uh, hard to buy the stuff. It, I mean, some of those machines they do, they do not cut cost much. And um, so that was uh, that was actually all for me. So uh, those are also good tools, but uh, I think I will use this more often in my videos so um, that's all for me so hope you, you can maybe get some inspiration bye bye